Oh there, my friend. This is Bishop A. Reginald Lipman. I have a word for you. I just want to inspire you today to let you know that God is at work in your life. Have you got any things in your life right now that just seem as if they are not working right? Have you ever been there where it seems like you are just in a deluge, in a flood of things that just go haywire out of nowhere? Changes happen abruptly, suddenly, unexpectedly, and your life just looks like nothing is working right. Well, here's the word God gave me for you today, and I want you to take this and share it with everybody you know. Whatever is not working right is working out. Again, whatever is not working right is working out. God gives us a promise in the eighth chapter of Romans, Romans 8 and 28 from the today's English version. It reads like this, for we know that in all things, God works for good for those who love him, those whom he has called according to his purpose. What a precious promise that is from our heavenly father, that whatever is not working right in our eyes, hey, it's still working out. I'll never forget just a few months ago, I was down visiting with my mom in South Georgia and she had me to come into her laundry room because she was concerned about her new washing machine. You see, she had had the same old washing machine for so long that she knew all of the settings and she knew how it operated. She knew the various sounds that it would make and that would let her know about where the load of clothes was in the entire process. But with this new washing machine, my mom had an issue with it because every time you would lift the door to the laundry machine to look in at the clothes, the machine would stop. Every single time she lifts the door to look in or to add something, the machine comes to a standstill. And she was frustrated with the washing machine and wanted to actually take the machine back to where she purchased it from. And finally, I had to help her to understand that the reason why it stops when you're looking in is because you are blocking the process by trying to control everything that's going on during the cleansing process. Come a little closer. I want to bless you. God does not always allow us to lift the lid of our situation and peek in to see what's happening. No, instead, God restricts the operations from being visible to us. He does his work with closed doors. Did you hear what I said? God works with closed doors or closed lids. And so we will try to add to God's plan for our life. We'll try to change God's settings for our life. And ultimately God says, hey, you just let me handle the entire cycle. The rent cycle, the spin cycle, it's all a cycle. And it goes from one cycle to the next. When I'm done, I'll let you know with a sound. There'll be a buzz at the end of the process. And for someone who is listening and looking at me right now, God wants you to know that whatever is not working right is still working out. And we know genosis in the Greek. It's the same idea that we get from when we go to a doctor visit with a problem. He makes a prognosis and he gives us then a diagnosis based upon testing. So Jesus says to us through the Apostle Paul in Romans 8, 28, and we know because we've already tested and processed and gone through other experiences with God, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God. If you love God, everything that's not working right is still working out, but it's working out for your good without the need of your assistance. God doesn't need us to lift the lid and peek in and make sure everything is right. God just says, whatever's not right, if it's not working out right, that means that it is still working out. So trust God through your experiences, through your difficulty, through your time of challenge, your time of change. God 
is working out whatever is not working right. Be blessed. God bless you.